Tonight on Grilling with the Guru, we Ooh, is it's Taco me Night. Mexican Monday. Yeah, right? it is Mexican so Monday, we're doing, baby. Uh, we're doing some fresh bass oh, yeah, from fresh Tal some Toledo Bend Special, oh, right? Toledo Bend. And the shrimp from uh, uh, Zuwali. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> no. I don't know about Zuwali, <laughs> but the shrimp come from the Gulf of Mexico. So you bet it, you it did. It's Taco Night, okay? And Grilling with the Guru starts right now! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Kurt, what are we doing? We're doing fish, tacos, well, look, and look, shrimp, tacos. Look, look at these guys. Look at that. That's some Toledo Bend specials right that, there, Bob. That was about a three pounder. That was about a two and a half pounder. Yeah. That one, we might not, we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, so. yeah that, one, that one should've maybe went back, but it so did you, So you got these beautiful vegetables up here. What you doing with that? Well, I'm, okay, so you know, you can't have Mexican without having uh, pico de gallo. Oh, so yeah. So I'm gonna make a little pico de gallo, and look, uh, we already started these, so if you notice on the in, on our intro shot, we yeah. had some canned black beans. We did. So look, black bean. I love black beans. One of my favorites. But you jacked them up, man. Well, I'm going to. Okay, so look, <laughs> I, I like to do them dry, but All we right. always have the time. I mean, that's no. a, that's an hour, hour and a half of your time. That's a that's a weekend proposition. Oh, you know, yeah, that's right. So um, you can use canned. It's okay. There's just a couple tricks, and the first trick is rinse them. When you open them out of the can, rinse them well right. because that liquid is full of sodium, okay? Oh, good point. That's their preservative. That's right. Right? So, and uh, look, I don't want the black beans to taste like they want them to taste. I want them to taste like I want them to taste. Right. So we uh, we <laughs> rinsed them off. We put them in a pot, put some fresh poblano peppers, a uh, little serrano pepper for some heat, garlic, and onion, and we just, a little bit of water. And we're just going to let it get all lovely, and that's going to be Speaking of lovely. Oh! Can I tell y'all, if you ain't cooking with Louisiana love, Shame you ain't you. cooking, baby. Shame on you. Matt. Oh, there's the light. You ain't cooking. You yeah. hear me? Yeah. Is it this one? It's this one. This, this, this one. Hey, we also want to thank uh, the Courtesy, Courtesy Group. Yeah. Courtesy got your truck, man. man. It's CourtesyValue.com. Yeah. That's right, bro. Go see them. They got something for you, I promise you. Uh, and then we got Helos. We Mr. do have Garrett. Mr. Garrett Helos. That's our guy. Showing thank us some so, love. Thank you so much, Gary. We appreciate it. Y'all go see him. Yep. And then, of course, we got the Silver Monster standing in back of us. He's putting it out. Look, you can feel it right here. King yeah. Grill. Yeah, the sweat of love. That's right. <laughs> is it lime juice or is it sweat? Yeah, it's a boat. <laughs> it's a little lime. bit of boat. It's a little bit of boat. So, okay. so hey, look, I'm going to put the fish on. You keep showing them get, how you're making that little sauce. Get to it. Boy, I can smell that fresh lime. How you oh, like that, man, huh? I love it. I love it. All right, so guys, uh, pico de gallo, we all know about it. It's easy, right? It's the colors of the Mexican flag, which are red, green, and white. So white is white onions. Green is the... Uh, Jalapenos, or in this case, serrano peppers. And you can use poblanos if you want, whatever level of heat you want. And of course, red is tomatoes. So, real easy. Um, you always want to prepare this about an hour or two before you eat, but no longer than that. This is not something you do beforehand, because the salt and the seasonings are going to break down the cell walls inside the vegetables, and you're going to have soup. And if, look, if you want the tomato and onion soup, ain't nothing wrong with that. Can you, hey, Matt, can you hear the sizzle when I'm dropping these fillets on there? Woo, Look Kurt, the fire is just right, yeah. Of course it is. It's Cajun grill. Why wouldn't it be just right? And we're cooking with the griddle plate, guys. So with the pro model or the, uh, or the, the regular yeah. super Cajun, you can get a, a griddle plate, which basically remove half your cooking surface, your half of your cooking grid. You put this stainless steel plate, perfect for Latin cooking. You can you can do quesadillas, fajitas. You can you know. You can do going, pancakes. You can you can do everything. You can do everything. What can't you do? Man, we're still trying to figure that There's one out. There's nothing you can't do on so the. So y'all saw the black beans in the pot, and I got a close up of that. Man. And I know y'all saw them little, them little jewels on the backside. That's some that's some lag nap. That's, that's a little line yeah. That's part of a that's part of a cooking at night. We get we got to make our supper, you know. <laughs> that's right. Well, I'm gonna show you, Matt. Watch, Kurt. Yeah. Just 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 show them. Let's. Oh Just show them. Oh my. Oh my. So, so you might say, well, y'all didn't talk about that in the intro. What is that? That's some pork tenderloins. It's like little filet mignons wrapped in bacon. And let me tell y'all something. Pork filet mignon. We we could do that. We can make a we can make a taco with this, yeah. Absolutely. We or could. we can eat it just by itself. Which is probably what's going to a happen. A little bit of boat. So a little bit of boat. So guys, uh, taco night, uh, always a favorite. Oh, uh, it's easy. 
It's easy. It's, it's flexible. Yeah, and seafood makes it very, very quick. Oh, very quick. Um, and also good. I mean, who doesn't like it? So, Champ. we always talk about value, especially now. Food costs are so high. But these foods go a very long way, okay? Mm -hmm. So a pound of shrimp, a pound of shrimp and a pound of fish, and we have more than a pound of fish, but a pound of shrimp and a pound of fish, that's gonna feed, that'll feed six, seven people now, easy. Now that's some good sized shrimp. You gonna leave them whole? Or yeah. we're gonna dice them up for the tacos? I'm gonna leave them whole because these are some uh, these are some 50, 71 count, which is 50 or 71 to the pound. After they cook, they're gonna they're gonna come the right size. That mm -hmm. I consider It'll right. come down a little bit. Yeah, they, they're gonna lose their water, uh -huh. and I think they're gonna be the right size for a taco. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, when we get to the tortillas, I'm gonna show y'all a little something y'all may not realize, but that's gonna come in a second. Okay, so look, you eat that. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring us to break. Yeah, we got tickets. So Matt, look, let me tell y'all something. That, <laughs> whether it's in a taco or straight up, mm -hmm. is absolutely delicious, guys. The the sides are as important as the entree. Absolutely. So. If you've never made a homemade pico de gallo or homemade guacamole, don't get that in a jar. Do it. Get you some avocados, get you a little lime, get you some Mexican seasoning, some good Mexican seasoning, and make your own. It's delicious and Absolutely. fresh. You don't, want, you, don't want to, you don't want to cheat out on that. No. So let's, let, let's go throw it the break. Do it. And we're going to flip the fish, and then we're going to put the shrimp on. And when we're done with that, we're going to be getting close to Malamoche, bro. We bruh. might have to eat. Yeah, yeah this is going to be a quick segment. We'll see y'all in a couple of minutes. It'll be cool. Come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Grilling with the Guru, guys. I'm Kurt. That's Keith. Yes! That's some uh, bass right there. Ooh! Just hot off the grill plate. It's looking <laughs> so lovely. Look at the color on that. It's man. absolutely it's fantastic. You see, you see how the meat starts to pull away? That's how you know. That's how you know. You just know. Use Don't little, overcook it. Use a little Louisiana love, a little extra love on that. Oh, yeah. And this right here is some, uh, some pico de gallo that uh, we was talking about in the last segment. Real easy. Tomatoes, onions, peppers of your choice. I use serrano and a little bit of poblano in here. And of course, cilantro. Can't have it without cilantro. Lemon, lime juice, and whatever dry seasonings you want. I used a little bit of Louisiana love. Yes, I used you a did. little cumin and a little bit of chili powder. And now that I mix it up, we're gonna just let it sit there and get lovely. That's right. And we're gonna put the shrimp on. And we're gonna put the shrimp on. So how do we season the shrimp? Just like you did the fish. <laughs> With some love, yeah, baby. We like, we like continuity. So yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna open that up a little, little bit. You want a little oil on that? I do. A little olive oil as a sticking agent would be lovely. Where'd we put it? Where'd it go? The olive oil? Yeah. Man, I don't know. It was around here somewhere. We'll get That's it in a right. second. We're, we're gonna improvise. They got some cooking all over there. That's what we're gonna use. Oh, I know where it's at. I'm, go go I'm going off camera. He sees it. I'm going off camera. He's like a bird dog. Hot dog. All right, so I'm making guacamole. Guacamole is super easy, super complex. Depends on what you want. Look at that. There it is. Just a little bit. Um, so guacamole is just mashed avocados. If you want to get down to it, any mole is a sauce in Latin cooking. And guacamole denotes avocados. So you can do whatever you want. Traditional uh, guacamole is diced tomatoes, Ooh. onions, and, ma and uh, mashed uh, avocados with simple salt and pepper. Oh yeah, salt and pepper. Don't, don't, and a little bit maybe a Latin, like a little cumin or whatever, yeah, a little well, chili powder. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little different. So we got to have our white onions. That's absolutely necessary. So guys, just mix it around, get the seasoning covered on all, all the, the shrimp. And then we're just gonna go throw that on the griddle plate that we had the, the fish on. Blazing hot. I think they're gonna come out as beautiful as that, if not more. I believe in you. I do. I believe in you. So listen, 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 Linda. Linda, listen. Listen to that. Woo! So we're gonna spread that out a little bit. That sounds good. Uh, we're gonna take some of that extra lime we just had and then. Uh, Put it on there. Uh, Put it on there. Watch this, Matt. Watch this. Man, the smell coming off of this griddle. Beautiful. And it don't take long. Tell them how long, Kurt. Oh, about three to five minutes. Mostly three. That's right. You don't, again, <laughs> you don't want to uh, overcook the shrimp. So guys, when it comes to, uh, to taco night tortillas, everything doesn't have to be blazing hot off the grill, right? No. So you can cook it ahead of time and you can let it like this fish and let it sit <coughs> like temperature. Bless you right now. Hey, excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. I got in my nose like that. There's that seasoning. Yeah. Um, 
So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, after we cook it, we're gonna let it sit and it's gonna sit room temperature while we finish the rest of our stuff. And we're gonna eat it like that and it's gonna be perfectly fine. There's nothing saying that it has to be blazing hot right off the grill. Look at these Not beans. only that, you can control your temperature. It's Ooh, looking good. Look at this, Look at black man. beans, both. Well, you got some peppers in there, some onion, onion some garlic. Some garlic. Yep, 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 yep. I never seen black beans look so pretty, bruh. Well, you know. Ooh. We ain't gonna have no ugly black beans. Man, them shrimp almost done, bruh. It don't take long. It don't take That's long. That's in real time, guys. Oh, yeah. So whenever you're doing your guacamole, you can put whatever you want, and you put whatever dry seasonings you want. You can put on as little or as, as much as you want. So I'm going to put just a little bit of Louisiana love, and then I'm going to put a little bit of cumin. Just a pinch. Yeah, just a little. I mean, so this is some delicate stuff. You don't want to go crazy with it. So just, and then when I say little, so half a, like that. half a teaspoon, right? Yeah. So real easy, like that. Um, and then we're going to probably have to finish with some salt because that's what it's going to, that's the only thing that's going to be missing. Stir that up for me, boy. I will. I'd love to do that for you. And man. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, serrano pepper in there. Not too much. Serranos are very hot. They're hotter than cayenne peppers. And um, we got some more avocado. We're going to put some more avocado, bro. We got that. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you see, look, whenever you split, see that? So it's full of seeds, but that's not where the heat is. It's in the white right here. In the veins, that's where the casein is. And the casein is, or the, uh, and that's, uh, not casein, the capsin. That's what gets you. That's the stuff. So if you cut it out, it gets it gets less, but it'll never be zero. <laughs> and what kind of pepper is that? This I'm is trying a to catch Serrano. Um, like 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 the uh, mafia show they used to have the Serranos. No, that's the Soprano. Oh, the Soprano. But you You're were right. close. I was close. You were close. Yeah. <laughs> Matt laughing. Well, yeah, because he's like, come on, baby. <laughs> James Gandolfini's having a fit right now. It's like it's like the sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like mm -hmm. Soprano. Why did you guys look? Boom. Yep. Easy little trick. Just don't be, hit your fingers. Be careful when you do that. Yeah. Be careful when you do that. Well, this avocado is perfectly ripe. And then you see another another uh, trick is whenever you stick the seed, if you use your thumb just to slide it off, that way you don't have to reach over the blade if the knife would slip. Yeah. Or you could go to uh, your local uh, store where you do shopping and uh, grocery shopping. And we had one of those, yeah. Oxo, Oxo and a couple other uh, people make an avocado tool that you cannot cut yourself with and it works great. It does everything. It's like a three-in-one tool. It's exactly right. It splits it, it de-seeds it, and it takes a bite. Give it a try. What do you think? Mm. A little bit of salt, but man, is that good. Mm. I love that. The meatiness of that avocado. And it's so fresh. Oh, the lime juice. Mm. Little pep on the back. That's little pep coming on the in. back. Mm -hmm. All right, so hey, guys. Hey. Break, break time. Yep. We'll get yourself something We're going to put some IVs in us because, as you Ooh. can see, we need to hydrate, y'all. In our secret undisclosed location, there's no air conditioning. But let me tell you, they could be on their back patio, and it's 80 degrees outside in the sure. evening, it's, it's, and you're standing next to a 400-degree pit. You, you're you going to sweat. It's what you call show enough hot. Right That's now. what you're going to so, do. Hey, come back and see us in a couple That's minutes. We're going we to keep, keep cooking. We and, are. Uh, and then we're going to eat. Shrimp's run. See you in a couple. Shrimp's run. You're toweling off, oh, bruh. Oh, oh. Put Yo. me back in, coach. Put me back in. Saucy for show, sure, boy. Let me show. tell you. So, look, guys, we're back. Everything is cooked. So, this, th th we're going to throw it to break and we're going to do the a la manger, but we're just going to recap. Let's yeah, recap. We're going to talk about some other things considering taco night. So, tonight yeah. is seafood, but it's uh, it's fresh fish, fr it it's is. fresh water fish, which is Toledo Bend special, some bass. But if you got soccer, if you got soccer, if you got trout, if you got redfish, okay, if you got you drum, have? you probably do tuna. If tuna you, be delicious. If you have mahi mahi. Oh, oh just some grouper, whatever. Snap so up. it's whatever you have in your freezer or yep. whatever you want to pick up. Some fresh golf shrimp. Man. And of course, we got all the accoutrements. We oh, got, uh, yeah, we, we do. have some, uh, homemade some beautiful guac. homemade guac. We have our pico de gallo. Look, guys, in just the time that we look how the liquid is starting to make. Pee. That's what you want. And then on the grill, we still have these wonderful black beans. Oh, my so gosh. So these are canned black. Look at these things. Let oh, me just Lord. stir it. So Pass you, a spoon in that. Yeah, it's just percolating. Look at that. Man, that's pretty. Now, the thing about it is, they're already done. The black, the beans are cooked. So now we're just adding flavor and kind of getting them real soft, 
so they're going to go match well on our taco. Well, and I don't know if they were paying attention, but when we first started, even though we rinsed them and you drained them really good, right. when we put them in there, there was a lot more liquid in there. But look at that juice now. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like lava. Yes, yeah, exactly. Your... Yeah. It's, beautiful. it's beautiful. Oh, put that on some taco. All right. Woo! So what else? Uh, oh, uh, speaking of uh, this, Guys, when you're out uh, when you're out shopping for tortillas, of course you got a lot of selection. These are made in New flour. Orleans. I'm a flour guy. You're a flour guy. You're I'm a, a corn guy. You are a corn guy. But these guy. are made in New Orleans. They're yep. called Ola Nola. Ola Nola. Right. Man. So uh, and they're cute. And they're cute. And look, by local, I mean they're going to be good. Uh, yeah. If if I remember this, I read a, a little article about the the people who have this. These are uh, authentic uh, Mexicans yes. who came to uh, New Orleans and they wanted to share some of their heritage with us. There you go. I said, right I'm about to go look them up, man. I wanted to do free samples. Right here. Hey. No, no, no. <laughs> but, no Boy, right off the ground. Can you imagine them Whoa. cooking something if they're authentic like that? So, think about, uh, so whenever you're going to heat these up, corn could take more heat than, flour. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, flour could take more heat than corn because there's more moisture in the flour. Right. If you put the corn on more than 15, 20 seconds, they're going to start to burn. dry out. Yeah. Well, they'll dry out and they get real, real hard. And the flour actually start to like swell they up in like little pockets That's and right. like a There's little balloon. Coming out. Yeah. So let's talk about, hey guys, if you're, if you're allergic to seafood, which if you are, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but if you want to, what are the proteins? Can you, we, we, we showed them the little pork tenderloins. Yes. You could slice that up, yes. guys. You could do pork steak. You could do Tasso. beef. You could do beef. You could do skirt steak, flank steak. You could do beef tips. Chicken. Chicken, absolutely. Poulet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thigh or breast meat. Or you could do just vegetables. You could do you could grill some zucchini and, and about, some squash oh, man. and put all these. That would little... be fantastic. Why? So a great way to use leftovers if you have like a roasted chicken or something like a baked chicken and you have some left over, dice it up real quick on a on a on, in a hot skillet with Pan some, Mex fried, with some yeah. Mexican seasoning. Mm -hmm. Make taco night. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, look, it's gonna be good a lot. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so anything like, look, just let you let you let your mind wander wild, baby. You can do whatever you want to put, do. Put the put put the little mariachi music on. And, oh yeah. And invite da, your da, neighbors. Yeah, do the macarena. Be, well, don't do that. Don't don't. What? You don't. gotta do the macarena, bro. No, you don't. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so look. Hey, we're gonna take a little break. You scared me. Don't be scared. Oh, look at that. Don't boy. scare him away. They I need to come back. I can't wait to try this So food. we're going to take a little break. We're we are going to take a little break. And then uh, we're going to grill up uh, some, uh, torti some tortillas. And then Put some cheese. And it's going to be time. Lots and lots of cheese, <laughs> please. <laughs> some queso. So hey. hey, look, see you in two minutes. Yes. Love you like a taco. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Wow, pretty. It is the final showdown. All right. Let me talk to you right here. So if we're gonna we're gonna grill up some tortillas. That's right. So this is where the Cajun grill shines. So you're gonna grill yours before you make it up? Yes. I'm gonna you grill mine before it up? I make it up. Are you gonna make like a quesadilla? I, I'm a, I'm a actually make it and fold it in half and, and then, then melt it and so, then cut it in half and so eat like kinda, a quesadilla. Like a quesadilla. That's right. And that's okay. That's the beauty of this. You can do whatever you want to do. It's your thing. So, uh, do nice hot you griddle plate. You could do this in a uh, in a uh, Teflon skillet. Would work just as well. Do not do this in. Well, if it's if it's seasoned cast iron, you can get away with it. Don't do this in a regular old stainless steel skillet because you're gonna have a mess. Oh no! <laughs> it's going. But okay. So you see what I was talking about? The corn. It's already starting to curl up. All you really want to do is warm these up. Okay. Don't try and brown them. They will brown, but they're gonna. This is gonna get so hard and crunchy. It's not gonna be good. And you see, they're already getting them just a little bit of color right there. They're starting to poof up. That's the moisture coming out. I'm gone. Okay, so look, this this is mine, Matt. You can see that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I just put a few shrimp. Uh, Kurt. Smell that corn. Yeah, I'm just gonna like that. I'm gonna push that down. I'm gonna close the lid. And let it get, I'm gonna give it about let a, it get lovely. About 30 seconds let to a minute. Lovely. Brown it, flip it, <laughs> done. Top it with some guacamole, a little pico. Oh, All right. My next one, I'm gonna put black beans and fish with the pico. So yeah, and so, cheese. So we're gonna. So let's let's uh, let's build the perfect uh, beast here. Okay, I want to see how you do them. Well, look, do your, any, look, everybody does their own look thing. Look at the steam so, coming off so the beans, yo. When it comes to tacos, guys, less is more. 
Okay, it's like it's kind of like whenever you make a homemade pizza. By the time you finish, that thing got a dome in the middle because you done put so much stuff well, on it. Keep trying to tell my wife. So look, <laughs> easy there, hot shot. A <laughs> little bit of cheese. Pico. Some, some pico. Onion. Yep. Cilantro, tomatoes, peppers. seasoning, peppers. Whew. All right. Now, you I'm, gonna do guac? I'm doing. Oh yeah, but okay. guac gonna be last. So I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to flip mine. I'm doing the combo. I'm doing shrimp, and I'm gonna get a piece of fish. Oh. Because I can. <laughs> it's so, okay. It's so Guys, the, the, the secret to cooking. You know, I tell people they say, "Key, how come you and Kirk cook so good?" I said, "Cause we ain't drinking. <laughs> if you out there drinking while you cook it, chances are you gonna forget." <laughs> That's it? Taco. Whoo! Now that's a taco, this bro. This is bass. I thought you said less taco. is more. I did. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't put what I wanted to put on it. Matt, isn't that what he just said? That's I could have sworn that's what he said. That's exactly <laughs> that's what I said. All right, I'm going to grab mine. Go you're, ahead, making me, baby. you're making me jealous, bro. Go ahead. Whoo! Y'all to see how pretty this is. Look at that, man. Is it lovely? Perfectly is it toasted. Lovely? Isn't it lovely? Look at that. You. Oh, man. Huh? You nailed it, baby. Now, what I like to do, just because I can't, I'm going to put a little bit on the outside uh -huh. just to give it a little crunch. Uh -huh. And that's, uh -huh. that's Louisiana love right there, uh -huh. y'all. Uh -huh. And then I just kind of take the, a, a knife or even a pizza cutter works really good. Yes. But we don't have one. So I'm going to take a really sharp knife. Use what you got. And uh, they got a beautiful that is. Perfect. Perfect. That. Perfect. So to that, he could add... Whatever you want. Anything I want. Anything you want. So look, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of pause here for a second, and we're gonna come back to y'all, like like we didn't even leave, and we're yeah. gonna take some final shots. Welcome back to the show, guys. Hey, grand finale. Woo! Yo, lucky, lucky. Yo. Matt, the middle camera's on. Without further okay. ado, let me go show him something. Can y'all see that? You see that? That's the fish quesadilla. Mmm. Mm. Mm. C'est bon? Yo. <laughs> okay. Let me take a little sour cream. I might have a little sour. Okay. Mm. So here's the thing. It hits all the right notes, right? So you have spicy, you have fresh oh from the vegetables, you have fruity, you have the wonderful mm. fish and the shrimp, mm. bowl seasoning. Mm. I mean, it's just, this is eating. This is how you do it. It is so delicious. My wife's gonna freak out when I bring this home. Mm, if there's any left, Jen. We do. Oh no, then we're gonna make it. I'm gonna so, do a shrimp. This was the shrimp. So we had a wonderful uh, black yeah. beans. See the shrimp? That's beautiful. Oh. Look at that, man. That's perfect. That's the fish if you want to try that one. I do want to try that one. Yeah. Y'all mm. talk amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. We're just going to keep eating. No mind us. Mm -mm. Oh, man. That one had the black bean. Mm -hmm. I love black but bean. But the pico. Love black bean. Mm. I'll tell you what. I'm shrimp. Doing I'm doing Come on, man. Mm -hmm. How can somebody not eat shrimp? That's the best seafood in the world. I agree. Oh, my gosh. God, you got to try this. Give me another something right here. We go. Don't mind right. us. Don't mind us. So look, let's let's thank our sponsors yeah. one more time. Hey, we want to thank boom, Louisiana Love, Gilbert's greatest makers of Louisiana Love. It is sponsoring this show and every show. Best seasoning in the world, I guys. Agree. You gotta try it. We want to thank Courtesy Group. Courtesy are, got your truck, man. Let me tell you something. You need a truck or car? Go see your boys. CourtesyValue.com. They only got three or four thousand online, so you know. Helos Grocery. Helos yeah. Grocery. Mr. Oh. Guy, we love you, bro. Thank you, baby, hey, so much. Hey, a little hidden jewel right there off of Barrow School Road, right there by Vincent Road. Y'all got to go check out check Guy. Check out the butcher shop. It's and awesome. The Cajun Grill. The, the Silver Diamond doing all the heavy lifting I'll back here. I'll tell you here. what, Cajun God. Grill. And again, 
You don't have to have a Cajun grill to cook like that, but it, it, it helps. It sure makes it nice. Oh, it helps. Let me tell you something. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Grilling with the Guru. We, we love, love you. Like we, a fat like, kid loves tacos. Oh, like like I love shrimp. And like, that's a lot. And that's a lot, a lot. <laughs> Be sure and join us again next time where we're going to cook something yummy. Oh, my God. We Thanks. don't know what it is. We're going to figure it out. Mickey, Send us a message. Mickey. Tell us what you want us to cook for you. Absolutely. Please do. Mm -hmm. Make your next meal your best meal. We will see you next time. Peace, love, and barbecue, baby. Woo!